we've always been a close family. When you get in trouble, you, you stand behind them, you know. And uh, so now, now Dad's in trouble, so we go help him. You know, I, I thought for many years that if I heard something like that, it would be devastating, but I also knew my dad. And I knew that he had uh, a lot of life left in him and a lot of desire to live with grandchildren and great-grandchildren and that if anybody was going to be a fighter, he would. Well, the treatment is fairly simple. It's about a 20-minute procedure, but the after effects well, you can see my face is burnt up. It's uh, what radiation does. It kills some good cells along with bad ones. And uh, it, gets, it gets kind of painful. And it saps your strength. But I've been able to maintain a good attitude about it because I know I'm going to whip it. There's been times in all of our lives where we needed our parent to have our back more than ever, and he was always the first one to be right by our side. And it was without question. When we got the news and knew that he was coming, I mean, emails and text messages started popping out between all of us, group messages. And it was like, all right, I got this calendar, I got this week, you've got that week. And we just all pulled it together and made it happen. I was really surprised when I got here to the SECU house that it doesn't even feel like any kind of hotel or anything like that. Um, and you realize how many people have your back, complete strangers. It's amazing to me how quickly they got to know my dad and how everybody was so warm to him because sometimes I still look at him and go, oh, I'm a little scared. But I think they, they saw his heart and his kindness. Boy, it's looking good. Lovely gravy the compassion that he had for the other people. I mean, here he is, 82 years old and sick, but yet he wanted to get up early enough to go make everybody in the house breakfast. This is a community of people that really care. They really care. What plans do you have when, when you're back home in, in recovery? Well, the porch is 10 foot wide and 64 feet long. We've got two porch swings and six rocking chairs. So guess where I'll be for a little while. 